276% this potty is going to become some actress. Full on expressions, next level expressions she is giving. Where did you learn all this, Naisha? I learned all this. <laughs> you learned all this from YouTube? Yeah. Anyways, welcome back to the channel. Guys, what's up, guys? How are you? I hope everyone is doing great. You know, every time I go to a trip and after I come back, within one week, there'll be a lot of difference. This trip was for around seven days. And once I came back, it's changed a lot, especially in terms of talking. She's making bigger sentences now. Naughtiness has gone level up. <laughs> now she's very busy on the iPad. She's not even looking at me. But I, I know how to get your attention. Just wait. Abhi Naisha is going to be super excited. I got a small toy for her from Goa. Actually, if I switch off the light, you can see. See that? I'll put it for you. I'll show you something. See. Doesn't matter where we go, what we do, feels really good to be back home, right? But one thing I have to accept after every bite trip, the way we are exposed to constant pollution, UV, we get a lot of tan, discoloration and that uneven skin tone. But the thing is, it's not just washing your face with a nice face wash. If you want your skin to be radiant and glowing, you need something special that really works on your skin and brings back that life into your face. For this very purpose, I'm using the Mama Earth Skin Illuminate Serum and Vitamin C Daily Glow Cream. It's got vitamin C which illuminates your skin, boosts collagen production and reduces pigmentation. And the turmeric present in it protects your skin from sun damage. This combination revives your long lost glow. To get that nice confidence on your face with that amazing glow throughout the day, I use the Vitamin C Daily Glow Face Cream. This specifically provides that glow in the long term, not just for a short period of time. It's a very lightweight and moisturizing formula. It locks in that moisture and gives you that radiant fresh glow. You can use it every day because it is free from harmful chemicals and toxins. Also the natural ingredients present in this cream help in protecting your skin from harsh sun. But don't just use it for once and expect like amazing results. Use it daily for at least 4 weeks and also because all these made in India products are pretty affordable, they don't pinch my pocket. Use my coupon code SRIMAN2022 to get a flat 20% off at Mama Earth's official website and the app. You can buy from Amazon Flip Cut and Mama's official website and the app. For the ones who are my old subscribers, you guys might not be surprised that Shriman is already at home in Hyderabad. But for the new ones, you might be thinking, Shriman, you rode all the way from Hyderabad to Goa via Pune, via Mahabaleshwar, did all this. But where is that last leg of coming back from Goa to Hyderabad? You know what? From the beginning, somehow I don't really enjoy vlogging my journey back home. All the enthusiasm, all the excitement is there when we're leaving the house for a trip. But while coming back, it is not that exciting. And also one more thing, I really like to enjoy my bike, my ride, interact with my friends more instead of sitting and vlogging. That way, I get to learn more about my bike because when I'm vlogging, I'm busy doing that. Always it's about the next shot. All this anxiety is there. But there is a small incident I have to talk about that happened. It's not a major one. So let's remind a little bit back and go back to Goa. So we are done here at Goa. We didn't do anything at all because if you come to any place so many times, usually you will not have anything to do. You will get used to the place so much that you just want to chill and relax. Today we are heading back to Hyderabad and anyways, this ride was more about the ride and not exploring around that. We'll eat some breakfast and head back to Hyderabad. We packed everything as usual and started riding. One more important milestone we crossed is the 10,000 kilometers mark in the Emperor. I was not having the GoPro, I did not set it up so I just stopped by the side and captured this. Okay, we don't know where we are on the way to Goa and we just realized that you see this 10,000 kilometers done on the beach GSA the Emperor. This is while well, uh, going back from Goa to Hyderabad. Market. So there was this particular location where we had to take a left but we were in good speed around 70 or 80 kilometers per hour so we couldn't stop and coming back was kind of a little bit tricky there and going forward and taking a u-turn will take forever because it's like at least a kilometer ahead so what mr Simon kotaro did is he used all his brain calculated he saw a small patch there there was this main road we were standing on beach there was this water pit instead of chup chap taking a u-turn and going back i wanted a shortcut see this is the reason sometimes shortcuts fail in your life as well even if it's a little bit hard you have to go through the hard way not all the times but sometimes if you go through the hard way results might delay a little bit come slowly to you but you will get the result if you find shortcuts to make money or anything in your life this is going to happen <laughs> Thank you.
Oh yes, you see, bike literally became ulta. I fell down. I mean, I was fine. When the bike fell, I literally just left it. See, these big bikes, when they trip a little bit also, do not try to stop them. Just leave them. These bikes are meant to fall. They have all crash guards, everything. Or even if they're not meant to fall, never stop a bike from falling. You'll injure yourself. It's better you leave it, aram se, get out of the situation. That's what I did. So I'll tell you what happened. Exactly, I was... <coughs> exactly when i stopped there i was looking at that pit i thought it's not that deep because there was a lot of grass on it i thought maybe it is like a couple of inches deep maybe the bike suspension travel can take it the bmw 1250 gs adventure hai. but when i went into that pit the grass went inside and the pit was more than what i estimated half that hair literally went inside and it bounced back where i hit myself almost to the bike and that's it you can't reach see these bikes are made for german people yaar uttam german na koduku linthin untaru ga kokodu it's made for them like six and a half footer or seven footer we are poti poti indians yaar. Our genetics are not that big. I mean, if you are a professional and if you are very used to the bike, you will handle it. But obviously, we are not that used to the bike. Let's accept the fact. I couldn't even reach my legs. I couldn't balance the bike, and the bike fell. I left the bike and ran away from it. I tried all those tricks of picking up the bike from Peaches. Yes, sir. It moved a little bit thanks to the boxer engineer. That's a gem. Not only the way it performs, but so many situations when I fell like three times till now on this bike, and because the boxer engine is projected outwards, left and right, whichever side you fall, your legs are tucked inside. All the weight goes on the engine. And also once the bike falls lifting it up on the boxer engine is very easy because because the bike never falls completely when it falls it is like this it's around maybe 45 or 35 degrees so even if you give it a little bit of a push the gs or the gs adventure they almost stand on the tires and from there onwards you just need to topple it up but then this situation was a little bit different it was very inclined i needed a lot of help not one guy three people excluding me almost four people had to lift it up i was just thinking what would i do if i was alone i know there are some tricks to lift it up even in those situations but in that hurry in that moment you can't think much and after we put it on the wheels oh my god the bike was literally like seven or eight feet in the air i slowly sat on the bike started the engine slowly moved it upwards literally jumped out of the pit and we safely came out any damages happened oh yes that is the reason i'm talking right this much when i shot this part no one might have observed this left corner but here is a box we damaged this box properly so what i realized is after picking up the bike not just the boxer engine was taking the weight but majority of the weight was being held by the top box you see this damage is good thing i put a wrap around it otherwise i would have more scratch just on it but this is not the major damage the most major damage is now this box is not waterproof because you see this you see this lock i closed it properly right you see this bend water can easily seep in not droplets we can put a proper pipe inside so that is like a major damage that happened to the box you see it properly this is like kind of curved now actually it is this hinge this hinge moved a lot there is a misalignment here as well you can see that this entire thing has taken a different shape now the way it closes is like that luckily bike ko not a single scratch touch wood i don't know if i can get this repaired this is the original bmw top box if you remember nikhil had an extra pair and i bought this from him i think i'll have to give it to a denting shop or someone or as you guys suggest what can i do with this box because getting a new top box doesn't make sense at all now we got a title once again damage my bmw box worth 70000 rupees no no if i put that some people are getting offended some people are getting irritable with that the reason i put such titles is it is kind of catchy that's it it's not to showcase to the world that i'm rich and all that whatever I keep showcasing my BMW, my car, my this, my that. If I call myself rich, na, it is. It is a joke, yar. You don't have any idea what a rich person is like. I know people who are mad rich, who make like twenty, thirty lakhs per day, or maybe even more, maybe crores per day also. So if you're looking at my car and when I say this is the BMW car, thirty D, five lakhs car repair, two lakhs, see all those are titles. If you observed, I keep changing my titles every now and then. I put one title, then see how it goes, and then see my analytics, and then change the title to something else. I learn like that. Nothing to fool you. Me, I still can't jail any girl. Watch the video, yar. Just watch the video of a YouTuber of a. creator of an instagram or just watch it if you like it like or if you don't like it dislike karo jao if you want to comment also comment but don't get irritated and feel very bad about it just move on there's a swipe button just move on kai kare bhai yes up tension simon what did you learn from this bike fall don't be over confident because you have to take calculated risk that's what i did i was standing there calculating will my bike fit in it is the ditch too deep i was doing all those calculations but too much of calculation will also ruin the joy so i went into it tripped and fell happens that's okay you get up and continue and that's how you should be in your life as well you keep falling every now and then you just need to pick it up learn from that skill up yourself a little bit off roading yourself seek care then you can go through it
also because this month I have a couple of days free. I'm kind of planning to make some investment videos that might help you guys. I wanted to start creating more value to your people so that when you watch a video, you learn something from it. Of course, all these rides or travel or daily vlogs that I do with my family, these are for entertainment. But also I wanted to start a series where we talk about how to grow yourself, how to grow your money, how to stay happier. Now I'm not a Swamiji. Somehow from the last couple of years, I try to stay positive. And when I motivate your people saying all these things, I myself get motivated. It is kind of a self therapy. And before leaving, do check out the links in the description for Mama Earth products. As always, whenever you buy from them, they will link your order on their website to a tree that they plant. Their aim is to plant a million trees by 2025. All these products of Mama Earth are available on Amazon, Nika, Flipkart. But now they're also available in a store near you. Message me or comment down below if you come across a Mama Earth store near you. Chalo, then I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Take care. I have to do something about this. We'll figure it out. If someone has any idea what to do with it, let me know. Chalo, then I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Take care. Tata.